Hey, that's something that we've talked a lot about. Xiaohu's strengths, controlling the mid lane, impacting the side lanes. He's gonna reply with the rise. When Caps hits level six, when Soaz has teleport, since Broxa has ward control, they can maybe make something happen bottom. He needs to go instantly. He's on a ward right now. A little early. No delay just yet. Broxa's still got flash available if he decides to. How oh, Mel catches out. Ming, he's already flashed. Get the body slam. Ricochet continues to fight down in the boomerang play. First blood to Reckless. Yes, the guy is flashless, but it is a trundle who can ultimate. They're going for it anyway. Okay, subjugates and the heal is going to be available for Soez. Starts to channel it now. The heal's coming in. Soez down to Pierre. Already got him. There's the stunner. MLXG gets the last hit. Nice return gank here, but meanwhile in the bottom lane, there's no flash for Ming. He's on his own turret. Placing that control ward. Caps is here, Rox is here as well. All right, Ming has to be the target. No, no wish available, either. no flash available. Locked between a turret and a hard place. Weaver's wall has it been cancelled yet by Caps as Uzi continues to hammer down. Reckless gets his second kill of the fight, and that's a knockup onto Brox. So let me complete the teleport. Uzi's looking for at least some sort of reply, but cannot find it. Even though the perception is that they hard camp bottom lane, oftentimes Uzi's getting fed to team fights. Now they're attacking Min. All right, there's a little bit of a skirmish yet. Glacial Prison's available. MLX Cube Room Prison comes down from Shahu. And it's just to forward step that size mechanic. Have the GP advantage. Coming down from Soas. Remember, let me cannot join this fight. The Glacial Prison is already thrown down. Flash from Shahu has been used. MLX Cube does not have one, but there's no follow up from Fnatic. But Shahu summon a spell you. Let me is just sitting with a ton of armor. Let's see what happens, Spartan. Oh, Reckless with a cheeky recall. Spell Shield has already been used. Glacial Prison's available. Realm Warp's coming down. Jezus tries to reset the fight with Monsoon. Flash is blown. Reckless and Jezus get away. You know what I hate? When people randomly recall out in the middle of the map. I'm like, come on, just step a little bit further away. You don't have to recall right there. Play it safe. It just cost him both summoners from him and his support. The risk that they're running if they take more time to recall, however, though, is knowing that Ming just went back for the Arden sensor is that the turret will go down and they want it to be back for the defense. So it cost them right there with the summer spells. And now they're going for Uzi. All right, there's a flash and a rocket jump available. Uzi's not going to be able to do a thing. He just gets Goomba stomped by Caps and Broxa. I mean, who needs a bot lane? It's just Broxa and Caps alone here going down to kill the AD carry. Uzi not able to use his summoners to stay alive. And suddenly, it's another kill over for Fnatic. Yeah, and this game, it's been Fnatic playing around bottom side, not RNG playing around bottom side. RNG is split towards top side. Now they're trying to transition bottom. Rocks are going in. MLXG and Shahu right there. All right, Shahu sidesteps the body slam. That keeps him alive long enough to run away. No one is actually bot lane. They're looking for a fight here. All right, so as is the one that's been caught a little bit, subject game for by some time. Now Reckless zones away Uzi as so as by so much time with that subjugate. Fnatic have decided to come in. Broxa sends out the barrel. MNG forced to use the flash. Now Reckless continues to chunk down the pillar of ice. Hold him like in place. Fnatic with five man stack. Take down RNG's jungler. Uzi had already disengaged, but once he doesn't flash, they go for him. Now Let Me has arrived. All right, Reckless just gets knocked down by Let Me. Didn't even need that teleport. Soez, however, did. He's teleported in. Caps, no flash. And all of a sudden, RNG are peeling back towards the river, peeling back towards Baron. Feral Scream silences up Soez. Will delay the start of Subjugate. Not long enough, though. The heal, the armor, the MR. Keeps Soez alive. Not much longer. Glacial Prison pops him down. Uzi gets that fight. RNG find the fight they needed. Fnatic had absolutely no vision on the bottom side, so Let Me, after pushing his lane, just snuck his way towards mid lane and surprised Reckless here. Their silence prevented the flash. And the question is, what do you do after getting a pick? Fnatic recalled RNG goes straight to Baron. Broxa has a chance to steal if they go for it. It's got flash available as well as smite. The gymnasium is on their feet. 1,000 HP. Broxa gets knocked away. Caps gets They're at least really one kill low. on the way out. Baron secured. Flash out from Jesus. Uzi's going low. The Baron is He gets one. Manages to rocket jump away. MLXG is trying to channel. Flash forward from Broxa. Gets the Baron. over the wall, trying to chase down Levy. Shahu's running for his life. He took down Caps in the back end. All of a sudden, it's a 2-1-1. They're in a turn. Captain Reckless and RNG killed Fnatic. But what RNG has been able to do is just continually win those team fights and Shahu barely makes it up. Their team fight KDA is higher than anyone else at the World Championship. That was another fight that felt very arbitrary, very much like a 50-50, but they outplayed Fnatic in the moment, just like they've been doing all world. As you mentioned, it's timing, it's placement, and it's whether or not the team plays well. That's oh, I got him! Shahu! He will not use the Realm Warp to escape. It's a 50-second death timer, but it might just be a stall tactic. 
All right, let me. Going to get some support here from MLX. She comes in with the Righteous Glory. Redemption's already thrown down. Caps uses the Flash. That might be important for the upcoming Baron Siege. Uzi as well as Ming coming in from the side lane. MLXG now flashes defensively. So does Let Me. Rupture comes up. Wish is now blown. RNG continue to run away. Glacial Prison buys some time. Reckless trying to rejoin the fight. He's come from the bottom lane. But RNG, they managed to escape. If your team can't do that because there's a trundle just healing everything, you got to find the carries. All right, going to look for the carries now. Root down onto So as he's silenced. He can't even get the subjugate down. Here comes Let Me. The right yeah. He's gonna catch Broxa, a monsoon buying some time. The heals are huge, but Caps gets chunked down. RNG with less flashes, with less ultimates, they get the kill. And just as we talk about RNG finding the carries because it's so hard to kill the tanks, they actually get the engage here onto Caps. Talia it, being it. down is so huge. Broxa trying to threaten some sort of engage, but look at the inhibitor turrets. They are being chipped away and chunked down. RNG, the ebb and the flow moving forward back to play. We're in prison by some time. Let me is getting chunked down, but he's still got 1200 HP. He's used everything. Let me gets killed by Caps. Fnatic have bought some time against the Baron. Empowered will never give up. Caps jumps up a little bit early. He gets dropped, chunked, and killed by RNG. So as continues to chase forward, but he's got no support. He's got no damage to back him up. And the Weaver's Wall, I think even locked for Fnatic out of the chase. And Caps trying to make a huge play to cut him off in the jungle, goes face first into an 80 carry, and the advantage they thought they had by picking Let Me is gone. Turret still goes down for RNG, and they end up trading kills in the fight. We've seen this quite a lot today here. Fnatic gets one kill, and then RNG gets a kill in return, or the other way around. Both teams are still trading a lot in these big team fights here, but Uzi, he wants that tower. And the difference has always been what happens after the fight. RNG getting objective after objective. In the one for one, they get two turrets and inhibitors. Teleport's available for Soaz, but he's left the base trying to defend. Miller comes down, insta rocket jump from Uzi. And at the end of the uh, second minute of Baron, Going straight for RNG, Elder. they grab themselves the inhibitor. They start off the Elder with RNG. Four men stack down bottom. Shao Hu with his hourglass in Realm Warp. He takes down the inhibitor uncontested. Now he's got the ability to escape the rise combo that has been popularized here at Worlds. Started to steamroll to 10,000 gold lead. Silence comes down onto Caps. He can't get any of those volleys threaded through the RNG lineup. Shao Hu, there's the combo. Realm Warp into hourglass. It just buys time. That's all for that. Oh. Caps almost gets instigated, and he does. Flash forward feast from Let Me. Now it's a 5v4 and RNG chase all the way in. Good damage onto MLXG. Not going to be enough to stop him, though. Reckless continues to try to put the ricochet across, and Guangzhou, China, erupts in RNG chance. The third inhibitor falls, and RNG might be setting sights on the Nexus. And then full control. They're just waiting for some super minions coming into the base here. Caps step for another 30 seconds. Uzi with the damage on Tristana to take down these turrets very quickly. And no caps in this fight, still down for 26 seconds. Unless RNG fully dies, they're gonna win the game. Oh, they are indeed. Broxa, the buster shot, ends up saving his life. Jesus forced to flash defensively. So as puts down the Pillar of Ice. MLXG is getting chunked up by Reckless, but two shots from Uzi drops 50% of his HP. The Nexus turret is going oh. low, and RNG cannot get through the wave clear. Fnatic has tremendous wave clear. It's really gonna be put to the test here, though. Two waves of super minions and the team positioning in the mid lane. That's a double stack on the bottom side. They're going for the initiation right now. All right, let's see if any kills can come down. Let me, the wish will buy some time. Monsoon gets a full channel from Jezus. He throws down the feast onto Broxa. Shao, who's been able to re engage? Broxa looks for the body slam onto Let me, but here comes so much healing. The seismic shove out from Let me. All these supports, all these heals, all the help for days. The inhibitor is the focus as Uzi turns his attention to the structure. And RNG once again get the inhib. So Arca here making sure that the Cho'Gath just cannot die in these fights, and suddenly it's RNG turning it around. Actually a raid boss, now back at full health because you didn't complete that part to finish and off. And there's a healer full healing the boss! The game. Oh, how do Fnatic stop this? Howling Gale buys just a few seconds. Baron, empowered minions, comes down the oh, next bonus court. Uzi forced to flash, manages to escape with his life. Barrier still available, one Nexus turret remaining. Sejuani engages but doesn't find the CC yet. Jezus is slow, reckless, spamming the winning waves. He's trying to clear it.
it out. The Nexus Tone is the focus, but still survives. 200 hit points. RNG just needs to hit the tower, kill the tower here, so the Nexus is open, but they're so afraid of Fnatic. Yeah, track the flashes. Almost all of them are down right now. It means the next time a Fuzi does get hit by a seismic shove, QSS Flash is not available, but they're just waiting on the minions. The inhibitor's back up. They will have three waves shortly. The double ocean drakes as well doing work. Got the minions now. We have Uzi moving down as well. Let me towards the turn. Uzi needs a few hits on it. There's one. Not gonna get it just yet. The tower still stands. The minion wave is being cleared out. It's a last hit there from Shahu. The Nexus is the focus on the hunt. Is used by Fnatic. Can they defend the base? Can they do it again? They're trying to push. Royal never give up away. Here comes the Baron and Pound minions. Broxa is stunned up. MLXG is going low, but Lefty's looking for a target. Monsoon resets the fight. Everybody's healed up. Broxa is pushed away with the Buster shot. Where is Reckless? He can't get the damage down yet. No, the Nexus is going out. Spell still by some time. RNG looking for the kills. Turn the attention to the Nexus. They're looking to kill the Nexus and Royal never give up. Win game.